Ranking the best right ends in Madden 23. We are back here with another tier list update. Today we're going to be updating right ends. Now, right before we do go ahead and jump into the first card, I do want to go ahead and shout out the comment of the day. Now, old tier list, real quick. I am going to drop every single person down a single tier. I do think we have like a new S tier of players. And yeah, this is what the tier list is looking like before we get into the first cards. Now, first card of the day right here, we have Alex Wright. This card's main purpose at the time was to get the team remix coins. Obviously now he's just really has no purpose. Uh, going for 100K for basically training value, I think. I mean, 96 speed, 99 acceleration though. No finesse moves, but great power moves, block shed, impact blocking, six foot five, 271. And for traits, only bull rush trade on yes so he's actually not that bad because with only the bull rush on yes you can essentially just block out that finesse move rating but the thing on the card though is gets no zero ap abilities so at this point you're just really not you're really just not too usable if you're not getting anything for zero so for me he is going to go in this f tier right after that we have red zone royale dorance armstrong this card's main purpose kind of like alex wright is to go into sets to get rookie premieres but he can be 95 speed 99 acceleration six foot four 255 speed rusher great finesse moves this time really bad power moves block shed impact blocking are both good though and for his traits has only the finesse moves one on you so it's literally the opposite of what i just said you can essentially block out the power move rating you can essentially block out the power move rating and only look at the finesse moves this time for abilities extra extra credit speeds are unpredictable all for zero so we get some pretty solid uh zero ap abilities for me he's not gonna be like s tier or anything and i am just gonna put him c yeah I don't mind that. I'm going to go ahead and put him C tier. I think he is relatively solid. Now, a lot of cards after this are going to be theme team remix cards. And essentially, all these cards are going to get the same exact abilities. So you upgrade all of them with training. And with max ratings, they're up to 99 overalls now. Roy Robertson Harris right here can be 94 speed with 99 acceleration, finesse, power moves, block shed, impact blocking, all amazing. 6'5, 298 as well. And for traits, has every single pass rush trait on yes, which is nice. And from an ability standpoint, gets double or nothing, edge threat, enforcer, no outsiders, 4 0. Now, I don't believe he is someone that gets the unstoppable force for 1 AP. So this car is just like an, eh, you know, pass rusher. So for me, he is going to go ahead and go B or A. I'm okay with him being A tier. I don't mind it. And right after that, we have Marcus Davenport. So Marcus Davenport right here, max ratings. It'll be 94 speed, 98 acceleration with great finesse moves, great power moves, block shed, impact blocking. He's 6'6", 265 this time and has every single pass rush trait on yes. So very similar to the card we just covered. And once again, doesn't get the unstoppable force for one AP. And he's, he's literally just like the card we just covered. So I'm gonna put him literally in the exact same spot. We're gonna scroll up right here and he's going right by Roy Robinson Harris. Now this is where it gets a little bit interesting right here. The first card we have that is like this is Devonte Wyatt. So you can see the main difference is you see this X factor thing right here. That is huge. Now, Devontae Wyatt can be 98 speed, 99 acceleration at 6 foot 3, 304. That is ridiculous. And finesse, power moves, black jet, impact blocking again, amazing. For his traits, only the finesse moves on yes, though. So he's only going to use that 96 finesse move rating. And this time for his abilities, right? You can get double or nothing, extra, enforcer, and no outside for zero, same as we just covered. But this time, he actually should be able to get the unstoppable force for 1 AP. I believe so. And it might just not be updated on Mutt.gg, but I am like 99. 0.9% sure that he can and if I'm wrong just let me know in the comments and I'll pin the comment and yeah uh, for me though he is going to be S tier because of the fact that he gets the unstoppable force now right after that again we have Josh Sweat with the X Factor arc can be 95 speed 97 acceleration finesse and power moves are great finesse moves block jet impact blocking literally perfect and this time for traits has bull rush and swim move on yes so going to use all his pass rush moves and this time you can see with the X Factor card art he does get the unstoppable force for 1 AP so for me the main thing is the unstoppable force why i think he is in the uh, top tier so yeah he is for sure going to be s tier for me after that we have nick bosa this this guy's gotten like 10 cards him and patrick mahomes i think have to have like the most cards in the game but nick bosa can be 98 speed 99 acceleration pass rush wise absolutely amazing with finesse power moves block shit impact blocking amazing and for his traits has everything you would really care about on yes besides big hitter but really that doesn't really matter and once again same abilities as before but also has the unstoppable force for one ap so again i think his main appeal is that unstoppable force and for that reason he is probably was he better than Devonte wyatt i'd probably say so 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 far he's probably the best right in we've covered so far and right after that we get aaron donald 
Aaron Donald is always ridiculous, but it can be 98 speed, 97 acceleration, finesse, power moves, block jet, impact blocking, almost all perfect. And trait wise, he is trait glitched, has everything you would want on yes, on yes. And this time, once again, gets the unstoppable force for one AP. So he is now overtaken Nick Bosa for best right in in the game, in my opinion. He is going right at the tippy top of this tier. And right after that, we have Dolphins great Cameron Wake that has 99 literally every single stat. Every stat is 99. 6'3", 263 defensive end. Like stats wise, he's perfect. Trait wise, also perfect as well. Everything you would want on yes, on yes. But from an ability standpoint, just doesn't get double zero AP ones. You can get inside stuff, no outsiders, extra elite, double or nothing. Like he is a great card, right? He, for me though, he's not gonna be S tier. He's not, because this game is just so much about abilities. He just can't be S tier for me. He is as close to S tier as it gets though. Like, honestly, I can make an A plus tier because he is better than everyone in A tier. He is literally, he is better than everyone in A tier. He is the closest person to S. It's just for me, he doesn't get double zero AP abilities. That's why he's on an S tier card in my opinion. And after that, we get rookie premier Tyree Wilson. So Tyree Wilson, six foot six, 275, can be 96 speed, 95 acceleration, with great finesse, power moves, block shed, impact blocking, and for traits, bull rush and swim move on yes. But where this card stands out is his abilities because he can get double zero AP ones. I personally like running unpredictable and no outsiders on him. You could go unpredictable edge strat, and it makes sense. I think this card is really, really great. Again, gets two zero AP ability buckets. So for me, he is gonna be someone that ranks above Cameron Wake. Even though his stats are worse, the double zero AP abilities are why he's here for me. And honestly, I think the double zero AP guys are better than the unstoppable force people so he's being top in the so so right now he's my right end number one after that we get montez sweat the compass reward and this card is absolutely amazing It'll be 99 speed 99 xl six foot six 260 nest moves block shit impact blocking and power moves are all great and for trades bull rush and swim move on yes but from an ability standpoint he once again gets double zero ap ones you could go double or nothing edge shot elite you could go no outsiders unpredictable you could go unpredictable edge shot elite you could go unpredictable you could do you could do so much with this card right you could mix match abilities however you want. In my opinion, there's no doubt about it. For me, he is right in number one, the physical stats. I think he's better than Tyree Wilson. So yeah, he's my right in one right now. I think the physical stats are there. The abilities are there. He is an amazing card. And for the final card of the video right here, we got John Runyon golden ticket. John Runyon can be 92 speed with 99 acceleration, finesse, power moves, block shit, impact blocking are literally perfect. He's six foot seven, 330 as well. And for his traits has everything you would want on yes, on yes, he is trait glitched. And and for his abilities this time can get edge shot elite no outsiders for zero that's a pretty good combo right there for me he is also going in this s tier for me he's just going to be behind uh, tyree wilson though and yeah y'all this has been my updated tier list for right ends in madden 23 ultimate team let me know your thoughts down below in the comments what do you agree with what do you disagree with who do you think should go up who do you think should go down now if you did enjoy this video you enjoy content like this want to stay up to date with the best cards in madden 23 and in madden 24 make sure to leave a like and subscribe now if you want to see me use some of these cards live check the links in the description i've been streaming a lot over on twitch and i'd love to see y'all over there as well now if you don't feel like kind of to twitch though and you want another video to watch check this one out right here i rank the best left ends in madden 23